Hey. hey. Sleeping in today, huh? It's not that late. Oh. Well, I'm sorry I woke you. You didn't, actually. I, I wasn't sleeping. Really? Okay. Well, enjoy your day in bed or whatever. I just want to let you know that I'm going to be running around uh, looking for Annie today, and I don't know how long it's going to take, so if you need me, just call me on my cell, okay? Okay. okay. I will. All right, I want to say good morning to Spike. No, no, I, I don't think that's a good idea, Ryan. Oh, maybe we can have a cup of coffee if it'll help. Talk about it. I don't think Kendall needs your help, but you're welcome to a cup of coffee. Ryan. Kendall, come on. You don't owe me an explanation, No, no, I okay? feel like I do. I feel like I do. You have been so wonderful. You've been, you've been helpful. You've been so good you know, to you me. Don't, you don't need to do this. You don't need no, to explain. No, Ryan, you I deserve want, to know. Look, all I want to know is that you're sure, Kendall. That's it. But this is what you want. I'm sure. It is. Well, then this is the way it should be. Yeah, I think so. It, it feels right. I just have to listen to my heart and to my feelings, and I know that I'm not ready to say goodbye to Zach. It's okay. No arguments, no discussions, nothing. I mean, you and I will have our bond. We always will. We'll always be Spike's parents, right? I gotta go, but as far as you and Zach are concerned, I want you to know that I wish you the best. Thank you. You are the best. You really are. Hey, Ryan. We're not finished. We're not finished. Really, because I kind of thought we were. I mean, you faked your affair with Dixie. I faked it with Kendall in order for you to beat the murder rap, right? You beat it. Now everything's back to normal. Kendall's got you right where she wants you. And yeah, we're finished. See you around. You will, a lot. You okay with that? <clears throat> Dixie has completely and totally fallen for you. Are you okay with that? No, I'm not. You use Kendall? You pretty much forced us to play along. You okay with that? I mean, you think that was easy? Come on, man. You didn't enjoy it? <sighs> I never took advantage of the situation, Zach. After the blackout, you tried to turn Kendall against me. Who had to try? And history has a way of repeating itself. So, let me just get this straight for a second here. Never mind that I worked with Kendall to help you get to walk, but before the trial, you blasted me. You accused me of doing everything that I could to mess you up, and now you want to tell me to stay away from Kendall. Well, you go to hell. What I'm trying to do, Ryan, is apologize. We both love her. Yeah, she's the mother of my son. Mm -hmm. I know. And there were times during all this when I thought I'd lost her. And during the trial, it didn't even matter to me if I was going to win, lose, go to prison. If Kendall was gone, then... But who could blame her, right? Nobody. Nobody. Including me. If I had to blame somebody, I'm a blamer. So I blamed you. I figured you couldn't just sit there. You had to go and rescue her. You had to be the hero. But you didn't. You kept your word. You didn't interfere in my marriage. So, you're sorry that you misjudged me. Okay. Okay. You're the good guy. That is something, alas, that I will never be. But I'm going to try and be a good stepdad to your son. Hmm. Dixie thinks her daughter's here in Pine Valley. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what she thinks. Probably just Hayward, huh? Smoking Maris. What do you think? 
I think that you should forget about Dixie and you should concentrate on your wife. She's desperate, Zach. Obviously, otherwise, Dixie would never think that Emma was hers. Why else would she? She said that Greg Madden had something to do with it. I don't know. It's according to Dixie, I don't know. If there's any truth in that, then I'm sure Dixie will let Ted take care of it. I mean, Kate is his child, too. Ted will handle it. Tad will handle it? Tell you, you're going to just leave that up to Tad? I'll tell you what. I will look out for Annie's interests, and you, you just take care of her. Kendall, Zach, Kendall, get... Don't you think that you and Dixie did enough damage to your marriage already? I mean, what do you want to do here? What do you, what do you want to end it for good? So you and Tad will do whatever you can for Dixie. I do think she deserves another shot with her daughter. Don't you? And for the record, Dixie was never a threat to Kendall. Whatever Kendall thinks is a threat to her is a threat to her, and Kendall thought that Dixie was a threat. Kendall was wrong. Look, I know you met Dixie in a cemetery, and I know that your life was really messed up then. I know you were both mourning the lost, lost children. But now you have Kendall, and now she's got, I mean, she honestly has plenty of people to help her find Kate. Just. Just move on. Did you get all that, Kendall? I didn't hear you say that you would stay out of Dixie's life for good. Will you? Hang on a sec. Waiting for the trial, and during the trial, I, I was afraid. Not of going to prison. I was afraid of losing you. Nightmares about it. It would never be like this again. Me too. Yeah? Mm -hmm. From now on, it's only you. Always, only you. <laughs>